What's up, y'all? This is Sea Dog back with another review, and this time it's on the Transformers Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Prime Strong. You can see Strong Arm and Optimus Prime. You got the nice box art there right at the bottom. Got the art up here. So you got a little bit of both. You got the Prime Strong drawing, and you got Optimus and Strong Arm, and you got Strong Arm on the side. With the trash combiner. And we got Optimus on this side. On the back. Shows you B-side. He's another one that was there. And we have the individual modes. Their truck modes. And there's Prime Strong right there. Shows you a bunch of bullshit. I don't know why they fill up this much stuff with bullshit now. It's so stupid. We used to get good stuff on the back. You do get some authentic Transformer points. Hasbro. And here's the code for those that need it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. What do you think? Think I did a good job taking it apart? So you can put it back in the box? Yeah doesn't come with any accessories, but it does come with some instructions. So as you can see, we got some instructions here. Got nothing on the back except for this B-side ad and a bunch of gook about the game. And then on this side, you have just a bunch of stuff that you can already figure out without even opening up the instructions. All right, so here they are out of the packaging. And to my dismay, I actually like these things. Can you believe that? I actually like this. I'm a big fan of Robots in Disguise cartoon. So I had to go for and try, you know, the new line. And they roll, so that's cool. They roll really good. I like things that roll. You got that one that rolls. And that one rolls. And they got some detail. And I'm thinking about going through and maybe throwing some paint apps on here with my paint markers. I have some Gundam paint markers. They work quite well. Uh, for my custom, the only custom I ever did of, of, um, hold on a second. The only custom I ever did of Optimus Prime, or of any Transformer. And, um, they did really, they did work really well. I did it of the Transformers Prime Voyager class, the mainline Optimus Prime. And I, I colored in all the blue translucent parts, uh, red with the paint marker and some paint. And it works really well. For a size comparison, here's a Legends class figure. So they are just a little bigger than a Legends class, but right around the same size. Um, here, I'll give you a better eye. Here's the tape, data tape, data discs. So, yeah, right around Legend size. Which is kind of a bummer, but you got a little bit of paint here. You got some blue for the light bars and red. You got some kind of details here on the front of the truck. So, not bad for a strong arm anyway. Got the canopy over here. You got some windows painted in. Not that acetane, just paint. Pretty cool. I wish they had picked in wheels rather than... Or, I mean, I wish they had uh, pinned in wheels rather than uh, pegged in. But you can see the bottom. Prime, on the other hand, isn't quite as cool, but you can, like I said, if you can get some paint apps on them, it might look kind of cool. I'm thinking Takara might be able to make this thing look okay. Maybe, if they do decide to put any paint on it. But, um, yeah, they have individual modes, so we got Optimus, he transforms, you open it like this, flip this down, there's a little catch here, you can see it right there, pull your fingernail, and it flips up the head, no problem. And you get arm articulation out to the side, out to about there. All these other reviewers, they didn't really, I've never seen them show anything like how articulated they are. They show like kind of moves, but not really. And, but you can also pull his legs out a little bit. So get him to stand there like this. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess this just stays flipped down when it lies in. But he looks okay. I mean, he's got some nice blue paint for the. Or it's blue plastic. It's like that painted plastic. It's not paint, but it's got that sparkly tint through it. So it looks pretty good. And looking at his face, nice painted face sculpt. See what I mean with that blue sparkly plastic? It's nice. And the red's a little bit like that too. Got one paint up on the chest. Looking a little like Prime. I think if you colored it in the thighs, it might bring out 
you know, if, if they had painted the background some kind of neutral color, or if they did some, find some way to flip these out, that would be a good toy. You know, let's, yeah. But anyways, let's go to strong arm. Strong arm's the same, you just flip down this chest piece, there's a little catch right there. Flip up her head. And you flip out her arms. Her arms only got to that far. So a little bit different than Prime. Uh, you can split her legs as well, but it's mainly for the uh, for the combined mode. So these are okay. They don't have any way to hold weapons or anything, but then you flip you know, her head back in, transforms back. Reminds me a little bit of rescue bots, how easy they are. I can see kids being really into this because they're quick, they transform fast. So you basically they want you to cr the crash combiners, you go like this, and then once you push it in, Prime flips up, open this, you flip down his feet, and this is Prime Strong. And he is actually not that bad. So his arms will go out, but they just spring right back, but he has some sh uh, elbows. So, you can get some kind of range. But I don't understand why they didn't give us a freaking, a rotating head. Like, come on, guys. All it would take is pegging in a joint right there. I don't understand why they didn't do that. But, other than that, he's actually kind of cool. I mean, as cool as he can be for the, I mean, they should have figured out a way to, like, put a joint behind here so that could swivel or something. I don't know. But. I can understand why they don't have any legs. I mean, you can't call that foot articulation. That's just transforming. But that's pretty much it right there. Boom. So, checking out the back of him. You can clearly see Optimus sitting upside down. But he is Optimus flipped open to be a combiner. So, I mean, you kind of have to expect that. And then to transform him back, you just you know, clip him back together. Flip this back. Flip this up. You want these to kind of go up like that first. Maybe that's why they don't have the, spe the the head spin because people would break it. Go like that, and then just unclip them, and then they're both truck and robot mode. Let me know what you think of the review and the figures. Um, there's also B side. I can get him, of course, if anyone cares. <laughs> I suppose I'm probably actually just gonna go with what I like myself and. I might pick them up, but not today. Uh, one other thing I might pick up is the uh, four pack for the rescue bots with Heat Wave. I'm thinking about grabbing it tomorrow. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace them out. That's a wrap.